Okay, for the little teacup shape, I think when we have a choice between a larger piece and a smaller piece, well, we'll go for the smaller piece. Right? Otherwise, it becomes very ridiculous very fast. All right. All right, so I've got this right here, nice and in the center. Going to start opening that up. Okay, so this time when I make it, you know how in the other ones I kept pushing like this. This time I'm going to be flaring more, more out, like, like rounding it this way, if that makes sense. So instead of like this, it's more like this. All right. This is probably the easiest shape to make right here. It almost makes itself. Okay, so with this one here, kind of like with this one here, I had to be careful that it didn't go too flat as I was rolling it because then it would flare out too much. It's sort of the opposite with this one right here because I want it to do that. I want it to flare out a lot here. So, in fact, I might even take and stretch it just a little bit my hands careful you don't want it to open up its cracks and whatnot okay are we getting it well I'd say that we're we're getting darn close darn close okay good enough for now. Okay, now for this shape, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. We have to have it straight and making pretty much of a nice straight cylinder. This is sort of mimicking the regular old coffee cup you might see in the store. Let's see if we can't do that one. Okay, so I've got a nice little ball going on here. Let's see. So pushing this in here. You know what I might do before I even get started is to make this a little bit taller right from the get-go. A little taller and a little bit thinner. You see, so it's not an actual circle circle. Okay, that will help me to also get a little bit of height in this guy. Okay, and I've got my thumb in there about as far as it can go. And stretching that up now with that sort of movement. Okay, and now it's too deep for me to go in much this way, so I'm going to go in my fingers here. And so, if you could see inside the clay, you know, it's shaped something like that in there. So, when I'm talking about moving into the corners, it's this area right here that I'm talking about because it's usually a little bit thicker like that. So, when I'm pushing, I'm going to be pushing up against it like that. Okay, so I don't know if you can see inside there, but it's now, instead of it being sort of this shape, it's much more square on the inside as well. Okay, keeping it square every 
step along the way there will really help to square up those sides. All right, I think I'm ready to start rolling it on my table a little bit. Now, what's going on inside here is that the clay is a little bit thicker at the bottom, but not much. And so as I'm doing it, it's stretching the, the body out this way. So the clay becomes like this. So I'm constantly pushing here where there's a little bit more and pushing it over from the middle over. Uh, careful, you know, we don't want it to get it too thin. We don't want it to go the other way where it gets very thin at the bottom. Just keeping that bottom even as I stretch out these corners over here. And I'm sorry you can't see what's going on on the inside, but it's basically just a movement like that. Now be careful. You see how it's starting to flare out like that first cup, but that's not the shape that we said that we wanted. We want to keep it square. So where do I have my material? Where can I take from to get more more volume over here you see because to, to make this come out here got to get that clay from somewhere i don't want to just make the wall skinnier because then it's going to be inconsistent it will be weak so i got to find that clay and as i look at it i think that i have extra clay still in the bottom so that's where i'll be trying to pull that from so i'm pushing in at the center of the bottom and you can see that that's pushing this out making it round but i won't keep it like that you'll see i'm just moving the the clay from here over by doing that by creating that Let's see if we can get it out of the shadow there that central sort of hole right there right there you can kind of see it Well, that's giving me quite a nice little cup shape, but that's not our plan. Okay, so we've got this extra clay here. What we're going to do now is go ahead and give it a little bit right there, right, right there. Very little. Keep it spinning so that it's even. Okay, and you can see how that has now flattened out. And giving me much more of this square shape that I'm after. Okay, that's probably pretty good. And so I'll just check the sides. Instead of rolling it on its side on the table, which might flare this out again, I'll just do it in my hands. You know, the table's nice because we really avoid a lot of fingerprints by using the table, but it has its disadvantages as well. And we're building a relationship with the clay so that we have many different ways of doing it. Here I'm just taking, using my palm, and just pushing up this way with my palm, just ever so slightly, just finding that square shape. You know, a few little ripples in here, a few little inconsistencies, that I'm not going to worry about too much. This is something here, though, on this rim where I might add some clay, or at least push into it. Let me see, I think what I'll do, I'll get a little divot out like that, and everything else is pretty even, is just take just a little bit of water. Not much, not much. Remember, a lot of water makes things weak. But this is starting to dry out a little bit. You can see where it's just starting to think about cracking a little bit. So just a tiny bit of water. little bit of extra clay, maybe rough it up, just a little bit of scoring. All right. And every time we attach, we, we score, even here. Score, score, score this little piece of clay that I'm going to put into it. Maybe a little tiny bit of water right there. And then I'm just going to smooth that in. If this ends up being a little bit extra there, that's all right. Now, careful, don't squeeze or <laughs> that that sort of thin spot you'll just make it thin all over again so i'm just kind of working that 
in making it smooth, but no pressure. It's no pressure. I'm pushing it more down than out. In fact, at this point, see your your hands are a great tool, but sometimes you got to delegate. So I've got a wooden tool right here. Either one of those ends would work for me pretty well. A little bit of moisture on there just to lubricate the tool, and so then I'll take and just sort of smooth that in a little bit. You see, because the wooden tool, because of it's it's hard, right? Whereas my fingers got a, an innate softness, it's the pads on my fingertips. This can move just smaller, more precise amounts of clay over. in a way that would be difficult for my fingers to do. Okay, and if it's not perfect, perfect right now, that's okay. Because I'd rather have a little bit more material than less. Even on this rim right here, where it's sticking up a little bit, probably better at this point just to leave that little bit and let this, this cup firm up a little bit. In fact, so that's, that's true of all the cups that I've made so far. I've made these all in one sitting. And it's been about, ooh, I don't know, a half an hour worth of work on these. And even in that half an hour, the one that I started with is a little bit firmer. It's right out just a little bit, a little bit easier to work now than when it was absolutely wet. So I could start refining it a little bit now. Or the ceramics periods tend to be a little bit longer. Especially this year, I've got both terms that are uh, that are block classes. So we've got a, like you know what an hour and forty minutes. Oftentimes you'll just have an, an hour class. That's okay. Either way, I can put this aside, put it there, it wrapped up in a bag overnight. And even if it's wrapped up in a bag, it will dry a little bit. And in the meantime, I'm not just going to sit around doing nothing. No, in the meantime, I can start working on my decoration. So that's what I'll show you in the next tutorial. We'll start working out a few things.